Well, hello boys and girls. This is Clay from Major Disappointment Models. And uh, being isolated and everything, I've had a lot of time to build some models. Well, not completely built, you know, but put together for me because I uh, can't really paint in the house. I have little kids, my little grandkids in here, so I want to be very careful with fumes and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> but trying to stay busy. So. I think uh, you saw me start this one. It's a T3485. It's a Tamiya kit, 135th scale. Goes together very well. I don't have it all put together because I want to be able to paint it, take the turret off, you know, all the good stuff. Um, some really finicky little parts that I put on, even though I'm, I'm afraid I'll snap them off and whatnot. I haven't put the antenna on and some other things but uh, this one's ready for paint it's one of the first ones I got done and then I did this SU 85 the tank destroyer let's see it turn it around like this maybe it's a better shot I don't know and again put all the little fiddly parts this one here um, the thing I didn't like about it is the way uh, Tamiya put the uh, the seams right where they're exposed you know they couldn't put it in the back or something like that so uh, once we get the primer on see like this seam right here is really bad once we get the primer on we'll see uh, if they show up you know there's some seams here I need to fill we'll get it we'll get it primered up see what shows up then started still Tamiya this is their uh, type 97 medium tank, uh, Japanese medium tank from World War II. Um, it's got, I put the radio antenna on. Um, if you look at the old World War II pictures, not a lot of the vehicles had these radio antennas. I think these are basically for the commanders. Uh, the rest of them didn't have it. Um, pretty neat little kit. Kind of fiddly also. And then, since I had that one, and and these are all coming out of my stash, you know. So, yeah, ready my stash for Tamiya kits. Because of Tamiya kits, you know, it, it's basically taking me about two days to put one together. Now, because I can't paint and everything. So, um, this is a, this is a Type 1 um, 75mm self-propelled gun. And basically, the chassis, even though they're supposed to be different in real life, are basically the same. Um, the tank itself looks the same, except for this upper uh, area where here we have it. Let me get them both in the picture. <sighs> See, they're both the chassis are the same. The holes are basically the same, and uh, and really in real life, this one's supposed to be bigger. Um, at least that's what I've read. But uh, I think they use the same kit. This one was molded. Uh, I think on the sprue it said 1998. So um, the only difference is this one has a turret on it. This one doesn't. And, uh, you know, because it's a, it's a tank destroyer or self-propelled gun. So it has an open uh, area back there. But otherwise, you look at it, it's basically the same, same model. Which made it easier for me because after I built this first one, it was uh, easier to figure out where the spindly parts were going to be at and what was going to give me an issue. So, uh, yeah, it's a little different. The upper part is different, you know, because over here you have the vents that are open to the engine intakes. I'll probably, if I get in camera, it be a lot better. So you get the the louvers that are open here. The, the panel just opens up, and then you can see the, the radiator or the, the intakes for the engine, you know, the, I guess to cool them off or whatnot. But the suspension is very so the same. So, you know, and all of these are taking me about two, three days to assemble. And then I had already started on the the Stug, the Dragon Stug. Uh, I was taking kind of a break from it because uh, everybody knows Dragon is it's got like a bazillion little parts to it. So, um, still got to finish building some of the upper parts. Putting on hatches, handles, etc., etc. 
So I got that one done. Well, not quite done, but almost. So that's what I've been doing and uh, been catching up on videos. Man, uh, matter of fact, I popped in the, to uh, Trekworks' uh, live streaming yesterday for about 30 minutes while I was, uh, I don't know what I was doing, but I was listening to him talk and watch him put the lights on the Enterprise and learned a lot of good stuff from him. You know, a lot of guys in there, a lot of guys, uh, uh, names that I recognize, you know, either subscribe to me or I subscribe to them. So hope everybody's staying safe. We'll talk to you later. And uh, please leave comments, likes, subscribe, whatever. Thank you.